guys. So I'm gonna do a very quick, cause it's awful stifling hot out here, uh, just a Goodwill haul, which uh, was mostly books. I actually, I got myself a few things of clothes, a few pairs of jeans that were really nice stuff, but I don't think you're all that curious about that. Um, so as you know, um, I usually complain because Goodwill does not usually have any of our witchy books. Um, and of course, I didn't think about the fact that we had our huge neighborhood sales uh, were t last weekend or two weekends ago? Two weekends ago. Um, so they probably had a ton of books come in. Um, and so there's a ton of books there that are spiritual, if not witchy, but are spiritual. There's like several books from the Dalai Lama that I wanted, and but they're not the right color yet. And since there was so many this time, I tried to keep myself to just the um, half, half off tag, which was yellow this time. And um, I'm gonna try to keep going back next week. Uh, hopefully it'll be pink, cause that's what 90% of the books that I wanted were pink tags. But this tag was a yellow tag day. Um, so I'll show you the first thing I got for, this is $4, but it's a yellow tag, which means it's two. And it's um, handmade in Hawaii. It's Peru of Polynesia. And look, at it's really big. So this is I, pretty much a perfect ultra cloth. So if I can give myself some time if I use it once a lot of times I'll be able to put it in one of my kits <laughs> um, but it's perfect perfect for an ultra cloth for spring or summertime because um, it's real big and it's just that gorgeous colors in there absolutely stunningly beautiful and I paid two dollars for it and it's brand new because it still had the tags on it so yay um, so the books I did get um, I think are all spiritual books. I have to look again. Uh, but it's funny, you know, a lot of times if they don't say witch on them or, I don't know, pagan or anything like that, they, I think Goodwill doesn't catch that they're pagan books. Otherwise, I think they throw them out. Um, so, let me put this back in the bag just because huh, everything is kind of sticky out here. It's 92 degrees out. It feels like 102, it said on my, uh, phone before I started <sighs> so I don't normally uh, wear my uh, halter top kind of thing but here it is okay so the first one is called fairy dust and the quest for the egg it is by Gail Carson Levine and it was a yellow tag uh, marked $2.99 which means I pay paid a dollar fifty and uh, just has, oh my gosh, the cutest little, um, I think, I don't know if it's all one story. Yeah, it is. Which, it's a Tinkerbell story, but it's pretty long. Like the, oh my God, look at all the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. Of course, now I'm going to get eaten out here, sorry. But it's actually like a chapter book, kind of. So it's a book about Tinkerbell I believe but it's a chapter book so it can be for a little bit older kids and again just um, absolutely gorgeous illustrations in here and let's see look at okay, the cutest thing so it's got a hmm, hundred and 189 pages and it's you know got a lot of writing in there so that's good it's a little bit older chapter book sounds good to me awesome this is kind of a tongue-in-cheek kind of book but I really like this kind of book it's called the afterlife handbook a travel guide to your final destination it was $2.99 but a uh, yellow tag which means I paid again $1.50 um, and it looks really cute it's by Michael Powell and um, it talks about, let's see, all right, so let me just read a little bit of the introduction. First of all, it says, disclaimer to fellow, fellow travelers, 
to the full extent permissible by the law, the author and publisher shall have no liability for any damage or loss, including, without limitation, financial loss, loss of religious faith, loss of body fluids, coffee through the nose, trapped wind, or consequential loss. However it arises, resulting from the use of our inability or the use of or inability to use this book or from any action or decision taken as a result of reading or not reading it. This book is intended as a humorous work of fiction and as such it may offend those with a highly overdeveloped sense of their own importance. In the unlikely event that you experience symptoms of sanctimonious indignation when reading the material contained herein, you are advised to get over yourself and try to spread love and joy instead of bumming everyone out with your moral outrage. If you think your God might also take offense, then remember that this is still only your opinion and that he or she doesn't need you fighting his or her battles on his or her behalf since he or she is perfectly capable of sticking up for his himself or herself. So I think this book is going to be hilarious and great. Contents, introduction, starting the journey, destination heavy, heaven, heavy, uh, holy FAQ, fact, <laughs> you know, frequently asked questions. The seven heavenly virtues, meet the people, etiquette. It's just, um, it's going to be a good book. So I'll read just a little <laughs> chapter. Will I have to play the harp? This myth was created by the writers of the Old Testament. They conceived the idea of angels playing the most perfect musical instrument imaginable at the time, which in those days was the harp. Today, angels are expected to reach a basic level of proficiency on lead guitar, though not on a real one. We're talking rock band and a plastic controller. After a few days practice, you'll be ready to play battle mode against Jimi Hendrix. So it's just, um, it's just a tongue-in-cheek humor book, but I, I thought it looked really funny. So. I got uh, The Secret Language of the Soul, A Visual Guide to the Spiritual World by Jane Hope. On the back it says, over the centuries, worlds, the world's diverse faiths have each offered their own answers to the most challenging questions human beings can ask. What is the soul or spirit? Does the soul survive the body? Can people acquire supernatural powers? Do visions and dreams gives us, give us glimpses of the divine? From Native North American vision quests to chakras, avatars, bodhisattvas, and archangels, this is beautifully illustrated volume unfolds the belief symbols, rituals, and mysteries of ancient spiritual traditions around the world. So, and it's got lots of pictures. And it is. So if you see, it's got um, soul in the cosmos, body and soul, nature and soul, the spirit world, soul and transcend transcendence. It just looks like a really good book. So I was pretty excited about it. I actually did pay full price for this, which was $2, $1.99. And then I bought two books that I paid uh, a pink sticker for, Coloring the Mandelas for Insight, Healing, and Self-Expression by Susan Venture, um, because it has all kinds of mandala examples, and then it has a whole bunch of mandalas in there for you to color, which I really like that. A lot of times I will color one and add it into my um, altars, my altar kits, um, and uh, make crystal grids out of them. Put you know little crystals, include crystals on there, so it's a crystal grid. Coloring Mandela's, this is, so this was number one and number three, and I didn't see number two, although I have to say I didn't look very hard since it was a pink tag. I was trying to be good. This one is um, Circles of the Sacred Feminine. Oh, look at the labyrinth. Um, so again, it gives you, oh, look at, yay, the moon phases and the chakras. Uh, gives you examples of all kinds of mandalas and then gives you mandalas to color. So again, I really like getting the mandalas because then I can, um, whew, I am getting eaten alive and I'm sweating my butt off, guys. So that was a very quick, um, look at me. Wow, that's why I'm wearing these so you don't see how horribly hot and disgusting I look. So that was just a real quick um, look at what I got at Goodwill this weekend. And there's fireworks tonight, but I think it's so hot. I think probably we're just going to stay in because 
it is just too hot. And because 4th of July, Independence Day, uh, in America anyway, is on Wednesday this year, it's a very weird thing. So a lot of people are doing it this weekend, and a lot of people are doing it next weekend. Um, and I have off Wednesday of work for 4th of July, which is really a weird thing. Usually, you know, you kind of take off Monday if it's Tuesday, and you kind of take off Friday if it's Thursday. But it, it was in the middle of the week, so I didn't take off any days around it, and it's just going to be a weird kind of week. So maybe I'll see you Wednesday. I'll do a couple videos since it's uh, a day off of work. I hope your um, weekend is going well and is maybe hopefully not as hot as mine. <laughs> it's horrible outside, um, which means I've been doing a lot of work inside, actually. So maybe I will do a, um, if I get enough done tonight, I worked my butt off before I went to Goodwill. Uh, but I'm doing a lot of rearranging of my spiritual rooms upstairs uh, this weekend. So I've really been busting my booty. So I hope you have a good weekend. Blessings.